It's been about a week since UFC president Dana White confirmed that Hamza Chimaev will finally be going up against Gilbert Burns on April 9th, 2022. Although the fight is less than a month away, UFC personalities, including fighters and analysts, are all making early predictions. Brother, I'm gonna kill this guy. Doesn't matter, bro. Smash everybody, kill everybody. Ahead, we reveal who thinks what about this Hamayev Burns matchup will go. Will Hamayev's star continue to rise, or will Burns put him in his place? Although there are no titles on the line, Hamayev vs. Burns is a deceptively high stakes match. Briefly after it was officially confirmed, Dana White mentioned that it could be a number one contender fight. There are two UFC fighters in particular that this declaration didn't go down well with. As they're the number one and the number two ranked welterweight fighters, you can probably guess their name. The number two fighter, Colby Covington, isn't known for being quiet and reserved. After Covington dispatched with his longtime rival Jorge Masvidal via unanimous decision in his last fight, his eyes have been on Kumaru Usman, the welterweight champion. However, instead of getting to focus on this potential upcoming bout, Covington is held back from all directions. From behind, Masvidal is accusing him of cheating in their fight since he poked his eye a couple of times. And from ahead, he may have to beat the winner of Hamaya vs. Burns just to get a shot at Usman. I knew that Covington wrestling was going to be the big difference. Masvidal had moments in there, but Covington didn't stand. So, you know, he came down the line. To Covington and his fans, this hardly seems fair. Surprisingly, Kumaru Usman agrees with Covington. The champ himself wasn't too pleased by Dana White's comments. Although damn near everyone in the UFC is infatuated with Hamza Jumayev. Usman doesn't see what's so special about him. Sure, Chimaev is undefeated so far. However, in Usman's opinion, his 10-game winning streak is largely due to the fact that he's been fighting low-tier fighters. To Usman, Chimaev still has a long way to go before he's ready to challenge for the title. UFC experts and analysts agree with Usman's opinion of Chimaev. It's, um, it's exciting because um, he's doing his job. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep. You're doing the best that you possibly can with the platform and the opposition. Despite Chimaev being lossless, he isn't a top 10 on the welterweight rankings. All of this and more could change for Chimaev on the night of Saturday, April 9th, 2022. You see, a convincing win against Burns will prove to all of Chimaev's doubters that he isn't just coasting on a lucky streak. As the number three ranked fighter, Burns is about as close to Usman as Covington is. A win over him will make Chimaev a leapfrog over so many would-be title contenders until he's right in the champ's face. But hey, let's not act like Burns is just some obstacle to be cleared. He's the number three ranked fighter for a reason. Chimaev may not have a lot going for him by way of titles or official rankings. Nevertheless, the hype behind him is crazy. By stopping Chimaev in his tracks, Burns will regain much of the respect he had which has been draining over the years. In addition to reinforcing that he's still one of the best fighters in the UFC scene, he will place Kumaru Usman firmly in the middle of his crosshairs. As the date for Chimaev vs. Burns draws nearer and nearer, UFC analysts and fighters are getting confident enough to air out their opinions over who might win. Ahead, we'll be revealing these early predictions, but before we do, we'd like to remind you to subscribe to the channel. This way, you won't miss out on any of our awesome UFC breakdown and analysis. Alright, now back to the video. When it comes to fighter opinions, who better to begin with than Gilbert Burns himself? The 35-year-old Brazilian recently appeared on Helen Yee's YouTube channel to share his opinion on the bout. I know. I kind of know the fight. I had that feeling that I'm going to fight, you know, so I was getting ready anyways. But for sure, when, when the confirmation, whenever he arrives here, I say, oh, shit, we're fighting. Let's go. So, yeah. Although he initially wasn't quite sure if the fight was going to go ahead due to Chimaev's visa issues, Burns shared that he was getting ready either way. He stated that he feels highly confident in himself, and he thinks he's going to win. This isn't to say Burns was brimming with overconfidence. He still respects Chimaev as a fighter. He believes the fight will be a war and won't be easy for either fighter. He expects Chimaev to try to wrestle him to the ground and grapple him into submission, and that it will be up to Burns to look for chinks in the Russian Swede's armor. Burns also stated he isn't reading too much into Dana White's comments about his bout with Chimaev being a number one contender fight. He knows a lot of things will come down to his performance in the fight. As such, he's trying to keep his eye on the game. Everything else will come after. When asked about his opinion on Masvidal vs. Covington, Burns stated that although he was betting against Covington, it was clear that Masvidal was not prepared for a fight. For sure, Masvidal better. Uh, but Kobe Covington has that pressure, has that pace, and uh, I watch a couple videos of these guys going after in the in the in the living room from I don't know when they live together if they live together, and Kobe was just taking him down multiple times. He also said that Covington should go on to fight a real contender and that the winner of this fight with Chimaev should be the most likely next opponent for the American. Although Stephen Thompson had been MIA for a while. He stopped on the Middle Easy YouTube channel to share his thoughts on Chimaev versus Burns. One, Hamza Chimaev, Gilbert Burns. It seems like that's likely going to happen. I believe they verbally agreed, but nothing set in stone. Uh, what do you make of that matchup? Is that the right opponent for Chimaev first? And second, uh, who, who would you pick in that one? 
Man, that's a good one. I fought Gilbert Burns, and I don't think he's going to fight me the way that, or uh, the way you know, I don't think he's going to fight him the way he fought me. Um, he's going to be looking for his submissions off the takedown. He's going to be looking for that guillotine uh, for sure. So you know he's going to be submission savvy in this fight, and uh, you know Hamza Chimaev, he, he's a strong wrestler, but he can strike as well. So that's a dangerous opponent for anybody out there, especially uh, Gilbert Burns. Thompson himself had once faced Burns, and it was through a loss by a unanimous decision that he came to learn how good the Brazilian is. In spite of his first-hand experience against Burns, Thompson still favors Chimaev. Although, like Burns, he predicts a tough fight, he believes Chimaev has the skill to make it over the finish line. In Thompson's own words, he doesn't think Burns will fight Chimaev the way he fought him. He believes Burns will be looking for submissions off of takedowns, but to Thompson, Burns is disadvantaged in being the shorter and smaller fighter. If Chimaev utilizes his height and reach advantage, Burns may lose before he figures out what's happening. Thompson, who announced he's looking to make a professional return in April 2022, stated that he definitely put his money on Chimaev. The way Chimaev has been fighting, he hasn't just been beating his opponents, but has been destroying them as well. The UFC fighter with the most valuable opinion on Chimaev versus Burns is the champion, Kamaru Usman himself. When asked his opinion about the fight, he said it's a very interesting game and one he would be watching closely. He stated that although the two fighters had very different styles, he would have to bet on his guy, Gilbert Burns. It's an intriguing fight. Both guys have very imposing styles. That one I'll be watching closely as well, but of course I gotta go with my guy Gilbert. When asked about his relationship with Burns, Usman deferred to his daughter, who was on stage with him at the time. After she reminded everyone that Usman won his fight against Burns, Usman stated that the fight was highly emotional since he and Burns had been friends for a long time, even going so far as to train together. It was only by following the game plan laid down by his coaches that Usman was able to beat Burns. If Chimaev wants to triumph the same way, he needs to come up with an equally great game plan. Fighters aside, UFC enthusiasts and analysts have also shared their opinion on the fight. The most popular of this group is none other than Joe Rogan. Rogan is firmly on the Chimaev hype train. Although he finds Chimaev's voice a little funny, he is a fan of his extreme confidence and can-do attitude. I'll tell you about this guy he's knocking out is not a chump at all. He is very, very good. Fakes low, boom. Oh, man. Yeah, he's got legit. He thinks Chimaev is the most exciting fighter in the UFC right now and is headed straight to the top. His opinion on who would win the bout is quite clear. Brendan Schwab, former MMA fighter and podcaster, is on Team Hamzad Chimaev. Schwab is so confident in his prediction that he's already looking forward to Chimaev's next fight after Burns. Schwab believes there's very little Burns can do to take down Chimaev. He believes Chimaev will make short work of Burns before heading on to fight Covington and eventually Usman. When looking at it objectively, it appears Burns is the underdog going in against Chimaev. Chimaev's physical advantages and lossless streak has set him up to be favored by betting companies as well. Alright, we've heard from the analysts and we've heard from the fighters, but do you know who we haven't heard from? You. And so let us know who you think will win down in the comments. Will Chimaev get the better of Burns, or will Burns finally humble Chimaev and put him in his place? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like and share. For Chimaev vs Burns, the hype train is just getting started. We'll be bringing you a lot more content in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Until next time, have a great day. Catch you later.